a lot of you ask me to show you guys the bag properly. Today's video is not about the bag, but I quickly show you. This is from Lovely Floris's PR box. Thank you, Floris. Very cute. Look. Let me get a little bit distance. Very cute. And really good size inside. Look. And because of the material itself, it's so easy to be folded, to carry with yourself, and it is very, very lightweight. Uh, unfortunately, it is not mine anymore because my mom reserved it. She actually used it a couple of times already. I borrowed it back from her. <laughs> and the actual PR box is their lovely liquid lipstick. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it over here. And inside, look. What a beautiful box, beautiful, beautiful. And here got like a little sash thing. Thank you, Flosses. Move on to today's topic. It's actually still about Flosses, but is their eyeshadow palette, which are the two small ones. The full name is Flowery Gaze eyeshadow palettes. I got both colors 01 and 02. They are not new palettes. It's been on their side for a while now. To be honest, since I had Florence's the Phoenix palettes, the new color collection, I didn't really think I need this two. Well, I don't need any more palettes, but for my work, like YouTube work, I think it's still worth to uh, review them to give you a full review about it as a lot of you actually ask the question as well so today's video is about them my tradition start from packaging it is a very very beautiful covering it is not a flat it has the let me focus focus come on my camera it has a lovely pattern on top if you see the reflection, it's not flat. It's very, very pretty. And there's two colors. Let me quickly open both of them. Um, the palette shape is exactly the same as the Pearl Collection one, which I did a full review about it as well. I will add the link over here if you're interested. The shape and the design is exactly the same as that one. When you open... Oh, hell. When you open, you see the four color eyeshadow palettes and with a little brush that come with. This is 01. This is 02. 01 is more earthy, more brown, more natural, more apricot yellow based eyeshadow palettes. And 02 is slightly more purpley, burgundy. It's a still neutral and earthy color. These two palettes have four colors each. There are three matte colors and one shimmer colors. But the slight difference is 01. The shimmer color has a slightly stronger sparkle in there. It's like more silver dust that beautifully spread out. 02, the shimmer color is more like a satin reflection. It's not metallic at all. It's way much less glitters or sparkles in there. It's more like beautiful sheen. By experience of their pearl white collection, I thought that this two going to be medium to low pigment. No, they're not. They are actually medium to high pigment. Formulation wise is different from the Phoenix palette. The Phoenix palette, when you especially when you touch it, it's more towards like dry mud, that type of feel. And those two palettes are more towards creamy powdery feel. The great thing about the formulation is so blendable and very even and easy to be applied on the eyelid. Here, I just do a quick test with you guys. And it also would help you when you especially be able to choose some eyeshadows in the shop that you can touch. Go for the darkest color. What do you do is swipe back of your hand like that. Okay, first of all, when you swipe it down, you see the extension of the color itself. Look. 
And when you see the stripe itself, there is no cakeness, there is no gaps, no unevenness. That's already a very, very good sign. And then use a clean finger. You use this one to swipe on. Then use a clean finger. What you do is gently smudge, like you would smudge on your eyelid. Gently smudge the color. And then only have a look at the smudge area. But please bear in mind that if you smudge by hand, it's going to be different when you actually apply by a brush. But what you need to look at is the area whether it has gaps or small lumps and unevenness. If it's no for all of them, most likely the eyeshadow palettes or the eyeshadow you chosen going to be easy blended out on your eyelid. Color combinations, this two palettes I gave a absolute thumb up. It's pretty much a no-brainer. It's already segmented the each color in terms of its function where you should apply. It's very, very easy to use. I've done a separate a color swatch in terms of similarities color-wise from the Phoenix New Color Palettes to this two. What you can tell from the swatches, there are more similarities from 01 palettes to the Phoenix one. You find a few colors that has similarities. They're not actually exactly the same, but they are similar enough. Then to compare number two palettes to the Phoenix one, again, they have similar undertones, but the colors are actually different. The colors on Phoenix palettes are more towards paddle, soft paddle color. On this flowery palettes are more towards burgundy brown, raspberry gray type of colors. If you have this one, then you don't need this one. If you bought this two or one of it, I don't think you would technically have additional needs to this one. Main differences are the flowery palettes personally feel suits more people regardless you're beginners or you are somebody more have mature makeup techniques you will all like this one secondly the flowery one in terms of the color tone patterns like lighter color to darker color they covers everything there are light colors as a base color or to actually built your eye structures. There are shimmer colors there as well as the darker color, which is darker enough for you to define the eye or use as a wing out. Phoenix one has more colors compared to the floral one. In terms of functions perspective, obviously this has additional functions such as blush. This two, I don't feel they have like a blush color by the way. Although the Phoenix one has more colors, but in terms of color combinations, I actually prefer the flowery one. It's because I mentioned earlier, it has lighter enough color for it to work as a base. This one, uh, even the lightest color are still fairly close to the color next to it to be honest. So this palette, I personally feel you need to have a little bit makeup experience or you fairly comfortable with your own eye look techniques to really make this palette worth. I've also used the desert two palettes on each eye. First of all, have a look at this side, which is a zero one. You see the color tone itself. It is a very earthy apricot brown color. And on this side is color 02. This one you will straight away see is more burgundy, raspberry, pink in there. And you see the middle one. When you see the reflection, this one is way much more sparkle compared to this. This is more like silk satin reflection. Very, very high classic. If you're interested and wondered how I create there's two eye looks. I will insert the clip at the end of this video. And here, do not switch off. Here, I am delighted to share that I now have a permanent discount code with Florisys. And I will put the code over here. 
as well as in my description box. I will have this discount code with the uh, florist's link in my description box permanently now. So whenever you want to buy some of their products, please, please don't forget to insert this code, which will save you $10 for any orders over $100. I know it's not a massive discount, but every little helps. Hope you like today's video. Don't forget that I have two small clips about the eye looks of using this two palettes at the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here. I think it's over here. Yeah, I will see you on my next one.